Hey guys, today is the day. Today we are installing Jack Bombay hot top struts. So let's get to it. All right, so welcome to inside the van. We're here with the instructions. I've got number one done, pop your top, check. The second one is to install these brackets that eventually these struts will attach to, simple enough. So let's hope that the bolts on mine come off easily. All right, so this should be simple enough. Let's try it out. All right, success. So all we need to do is put this bolt back on. All right, so I just got the last one in. Uh, one thing I wanted to note here is that uh, this bracket right here, it almost didn't give me enough clearance to put the, uh, the supply bracket in. Um, so that could be a bit of an issue, I don't know. But I've got that bracket uh, on now, it's nice and tight. That was really easy. So on to the other side. So same thing applies to this side. I've got uh, the supplied 10 millimeter bolts. Just going to take off the middle guy first, uh, put him on and, uh, and switch it out. So I have to say that this rain gutter is really handy to, uh, to put the tools and stuff. It's kind of nice. So let's do it up. All right, so again, we've got a little bit of a clearance issue. So here, you can see that it uh, doesn't want to fully go over to match the hole. So we'll see. Might uh, might just magically work. Yeah, it works. So as I'm tightening it, I'm hearing some like little pops and stuff, and I think it's just sand and <laughs> I might have got underneath the bracket. A little unnerving. Definitely don't want this to come undone either. I'm driving. Great. Well, that part was really easy. Uh, the next part, we'll see. So, what they say in the instructions is to then measure from this point up to the fiberglass top, and it's also recommended to get clothes hanger, be able to actually accurately measure the point, just because uh, some of these tops start to bow, it says in the instructions. So let's see how that goes. Okay, so step three. Simple, I'll just reread these instructions uh, to get really familiar with them. Yeah, because I definitely don't want to put a hole in the fiberglass in the wrong spot. All right, let's get to work. All right, so as you can see here, my pop top's kind of on the old side. Uh, I, it won't really matter if I get pencil marks on it. If yours is new and shiny, then you can use tape. Um, I'm not gonna really worry about it. So I need to measure 20 and a quarter. But you can see that the tape measure, it bends. So that's where the wire comes in handy. Give a good estimation. All right, found the spot. Right there. Okay, so it's uh, time to double check our measurement with this coat hanger. So the first step is to uh, measure it out. They say it's uh, 23 inches and then um, to bend 90 degrees in to give us that little point. But you know what I realize is I don't have a robust enough cutters to get through this. So I'm gonna try to jimmy rig this the best I can. This is what I managed to do with what I've got. And from tip to tip, it is 
20 and 1 16th exactly. So this will be my test tool and uh, let's go try it out. All right, it's a moment of truth. Just putting it, can you see that? Putting it on the tip here, bada boom. I think we're in business. So I'm gonna do that to the other side, then we're going to drill. All right, moment of truth. Got my drill, my 5 16th bit on the board just to put under behind so I don't pop a hole into the canvas. And uh, yeah, it's a little nerve wracking, but uh, gotta do it. Oh, that was fast. Take this uh, little guy and um, put it in there. Going in. All right. That was fast. Grab the shock and simple as putting it in. So it's a little bit short. So what I'm going to do is just extend the hole just a smidge. Good thing we didn't put the silicone on. Try it again. There we go. Fits like a glove. So what I'll do is I'm gonna pop it off, add some silicone now, and uh, we'll be good to go. And tricks not to use too much. One down, other one to go. Okay. Got all the stuff. Other side. Awesome. So there we have it. Got them installed. That was actually really easy. Now the question I have is how easy is this going to be to bring down without any weight on the top. Because the next project I have is putting up my roof racks. If you're thinking of also putting your roof racks on, you have to make sure that when this pop top is down, this arm isn't going to interfere with the hardware of your brackets, of your artificial rain gutter. And if you do have an artificial rain gutter installed already, just to make sure that that's going to be okay. And you might have to make some minor modifications to your artificial rain gutter hardware to make sure that this, uh, this strut is going to have enough clearance. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and, uh, and see if, uh, if it works. Moment of truth, yeah. I'll just leave the camera rolling. Well, there we go. It worked. I have to say it was actually a little on the hard side to get it down without any weight on top right now. Um, that's gonna change soon. I think these were the uh, heavy duty shocks that I got, um, but they also come in light as well. So I'm sure the light would be a lot easier to manage getting down. It was actually as much effort to pull down as it normally is to push up. So I'm looking forward to popping the top in the future and making that a lot easier. So there you go, the Jack Bombay lift assist kit. Super awesome, it was super easy to install. Did it only in a couple hours without really rushing and it's gonna make my life a lot easier. Happy van life.